Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Simon Williams and Richard Weaving. This is a game from British Championship played in 2013. Simon Williams had white pieces and he started with d4. Richard Weaving played knight to f6. c4, e6, knight to f3 and now d5, queen's gambit. Knight to c3, black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? The three most played moves are bishop to e7, c6, and knight from b to d7. Richard Weaving played d takes on c4, queen's gambit accepted. Why to move? Both e3 and d4 are played in this position. Perhaps e3 is even more solid, more cautious. Simon Williams played e4 and now bishop to b4 pinning the knight and threatening knight takes pawn on e4. How to defend the pawn? Well, the most played move in this position is bishop to g5 pinning the knight. Simon Williams played bishop takes on c4 sacrificing the pawn on e4 is it a good variation for white let's have a look richard weaving played the natural move what else but to take on e4 simon williams a castle king side knight takes on c3 pawn takes knight black to move well black can win one more pawn Richard Weaving decided to be cautious and to play safe, happy with just one pawn. What's wrong with bishop takes on c3? Let's have a look what happens if bishop takes on c3. Then rook to b1, and after say castling, which is a sensible move, queen to d3 attacking the bishop, bishop to a5, knight to g5 threatening a checkmate on h7. After g6, Queen to h3, threatening checkmate again. After h5, g4. Do you agree that white has a good compensation for sacrifice material? Okay, back to our game. Bishop to e7, this is also preventing knight to g5. Simon Williams played a knight to e5. Weaving castle kingside. Queen to g4. White has better activity of the pieces. But black has an extra pawn. Knight to d7. White to move. Rook to e1. If bishop to h6, bishop to f6. Rook to e1. Knight to f6, attacking the queen. Queen to g3. Knight to d5. And now bishop to h6. Bishop to f6. Rook to e4. In some variations, White may play rook to g4, for example with a5, rook to g4, pressure is on the pawn, on g7. To meet this move, knight to e7 was played and now rook to g4 is not recommended. Simon Williams played bishop to f4. If rook goes to g4, then knight to f5 and black is doing well. So we have bishop to f4, knight to f5 attacking the queen, Queen to d3, knight to d6. This is a very hard working knight. The knight is forking the rook and the bishop. Rook to e3, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight. c6, queen to e2, c5. Temporarily sacrificing the pawn. d takes on c5, queen to d5, intending of course queen takes pawn on c5. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? You can't give check, you can't capture anything, create threats. Knight to g4 threatening, knight takes bishop, damaging the pawn structure. Bishop to e7, white to move. This is the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? 
what did you find? Did you find this brilliant bishop to d6? This is an excellent move. What is this doing? The purpose of this move will be revealed a few moves later. Black played the obvious. Bishop takes on d6, c takes on d6, queen takes on d6. Simon Williams was aiming for this position. Black, dark the bishop is gone, and he was a very important defender of the black king. In his DVD, The Ginger J Method, Simon Williams brilliantly explains which piece to exchange and which piece to keep in order to get a better position. And this is exactly what he has done now. The position is ready. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? Did you find the killer move? The killer move is knight to f6 check. King to h8. What happens if a pawn takes knight? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? The follow-up is queen to g4 check. And after king to h8, rook to g3. And there is no sense of a defense against queen to g7 checkmate. So, Richard Weaving played king to h8. Why to move? How would you continue now? The best move for white is rook to h3, threatening Arabian checkmate, for example. Random move, rook takes on h7 checkmate, the Arabian checkmate. To avoid this checkmate, Richard Weaving played h6. What's wrong with pawn takes knight? If pawn takes knight, then white is winning with what move? Queen to h5. And there is no sense of defense against queen to h7 checkmate. Well, perhaps black can prolong the game, but he would look very funny. So we have h6, white to move. White, play the move. And black resigned. Please pause and find the winning move that white played in this position. The move is queen to e3. Well, black resigned. Let's play a random move for black. Queen to b6. And then white plays the obvious. Rook takes on h6 check. Pawn takes rook. Queen takes pawn checkmate. That was a brilliant attack by Simon Williams. His DVD, The Ginger Method, is at a half price for a couple of days only. And now I am going to say something that most people wouldn't say in fear of being unpopular. Are you ready? Are you sure you are ready? If you are looking for the best chess DVD, look no further. The Ginger GM Method is the best DVD on offer from my chess shop. Buy the best and don't worry about the rest. Bye for now.